Yes. No. Maybe. Yes! 
Eileen, at best, she's not up to much. Eileen, why does she do this thing? Why does she do this thing of hello, Senator X's office? Hello, nothing of value inside, please? Senator X is not Senator Bob's name. And well, this other stuff, crazy. Bruce, I do this hello, Senator X's office, nothing of value inside, please, thing at the request of surveillance, who is afraid for Senator Bob's life. After he said the speech Eileen wrote for him about the Arabs being an insect? Oh, no, not you. Uh, yes, no, maybe. Bruce, you crossed my wires. She's got feelings, Bruce. Eileen, at best, she's not up to much, especially if these photos. Oh, I read her. it, Bruce. I've got feelings, you've got feelings, everybody's got feelings that deck them. It's normal to be decked by one of them when they're like this. The photos oh, are so just normal, but it didn't deck me, Eileen. I fell over on account of lunch hour, having come and gone in no lunch. Quite Bruce! Sorry! Uh, sorry, I was trying. Okay. <laughs> But they sure aren't normal. Cripes. Bag it, Dot, okay? Yeah. Hello, Senator X's 
office. Hello, nothing of value inside, please. Please don't steal our stuff. Yes. No. Maybe. Is he in today? Ever, Senator Bob? Faggot dot. You're getting happy lady from looking at that. We are not looking at that. No, no, not you. Hello? Hung up. Unusual that. Mm, that. No that. I don't think so. I know what you mean to say. You mean to say you've had experience with that, with one such as that bag of Bruce. I was not saying that. I was saying something you else. You were making a claim. <laughs> I was, he was not making a claim. Making a claim. He's always making claims. I mean. But I know. 
I went to Bob Jones University, and I know how people get twisted by false gods, and how a life of crime awaits all those who get weak and experiment with drugs, atheism, and uh, the real thing, that, I mean, and that. I mean, will you get a load of that? I laid for Pete's sake. I think I will change. I think I will not let this bother me. I think I will use this as an instance to my true life purpose. <laughs> that is not that, Bruce. So just bag it. That is the radiator and not an active participant, Bruce. So just bag it. Because where do you get off saying those things? Drugs are not on my resume. Atheism is not on my resume. Have you looked at my resume, Bruce? You are a silly goose, Bruce, so just bag it. Of 
what you're not supposed to think, each one worse than the other. And you both pretend to be Christians. Cripes! I am truly shocked by this. Not to mention that. Wow. I have never thought of bending over like that. And you sure are laughing it up. Ha! Bend it, don't! This is work. Documentation of evidence. I feel unstable. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong, Bruce? Did the putty tag from Puscaloosa poop his panties? <laughs> you putz, the real thing's got to you. I can see all seven, each one worse than the other. Wow, what a man, what a tough-minded young Republican. No American Enterprise Institute for you. Wussums know the real thing's got you a little dizzy, huh? Bruce, you better take his crackers and milk and curl up for his little nap on his little blankie. Wow, what a man, what a tough-minded young Republican. No American Heritage Foundation for you. Wussums know the real thing gives you the wiggles, too. Bruce, you better take his crackers and milk and curl up on his little blankie for his little nap. I felt unstable for a moment is all. Wow. You sure are laughing it up. Both of you. Right. Bag it, Dot. Do you think that is what it actually looks like? <laughs> or how else do you explain what it really is? If that's not right, I mean well if what we are seeing is photos of stuff. The real thing, I would say. But maybe doctor, maybe. But they sure look healthy to me, I mean. <laughs> Very funny, Bruce. You are a wit, Dot Bruce is a wit. Bag it, Bruce. The photos may be, Doctor, to emphasize that and that, for instance, though. Why is beyond me? Why they would need to emphasize that any more than that is unclear to me. Perhaps in the light of day we can see a clear evidence of tampering. Perhaps at the lab. Uh, do we have access to a lab of some sort? Doc, do we? See? 
Well, if it's not meant to be seen, that part, then I have never seen one. No, Bob would know if I had, and so, Dot, take a look at this thing here. Oh, which, uh, that one where? No, this part here. It's not what we think it is, maybe. Sweet Jesus, I hope for their sake, it is not what it looks like, because that would make me ill. I knew some parts are capable of bending and being bent, stretched and wiggled in ways that suggest all kinds of stuff. Stuff that decent people try not to think about, but the human anatomy dot, how can it be so unstable as to do that to itself and say, hey, I'm normal. I'm okay and just having a fine time. But sweet Jesus, I hope for their sake it is not what it looks like, because they never told us about this or that at the Dartmouth Review when we tore down those ugly shanties of the colored people who... <laughs> you mean to say, Bruce, you mean to say that part there is normal? That is normal only when it is inside that other part way over there? Oh, no. I can't believe that. That is not how nature is supposed to be. They never said that that would be bent or flexed like that at the Dartmouth Review when we tore down the shanties of the colored people of the Indians and of the other liberals. Because that part is not normal. That part should not be distended to such an extent that it flares out like that. It might pop. It might pop and burst and the stuff inside, why, it would trickle down the sides here. And God, that part is not where God intended when he placed it modestly where it is back inside, nestled like a little pink flower. Inside, nestled like a little pink wildflower on the soft woodsy thing there in the soft woodsy part. It's not what you think. It's not that. So calm down, Eileen. It's only a picture. A picture cannot torture and rape you. A, a picture, picture can do torture and rape your mind, Dot. I mean, can't you imagine that? Being bent and wiggled and stretched and so forth like that? I mean, look at that look on her face. The pain, the intense anguish of the poor thing. A picture can do these things, Dot, I know it, and so do you, which is why you are here and not down the wall working for Senator so-and-so, who represents a state where that kind of behavior is all too common, Dot. A picture can do torture and hopelessly maim the insides of you and can destroy the outside of the inside part of you like that poor girl there that Bruce is looking at and not helping you to argue the point because that photo, like the one before and the one before and the one before that and especially the one before that and, and the one we saw first that now seems tame. Almost innocent, one might say, by comparison. They have turned his brain to mush. Look at Bruce Dot, look at his eyes, how empty and ill they are, like an animal who has seen too much of human life ever to be an animal again. They never, never told us about the look in those eyes at the Dartmouth Review when we tore down the shanties of the colored people of the other people, liberals and the rest. I feel tortured and bent by the impact of these pictures upon the inside of my brain. So just bag it, Bruce. You do dog bag, you I mean bag and really bag and calm down! I
it is going on. <laughs> it is definitely going on when it is not being talked about, I mean, because you go figure. If you were in activities like that, or that, or even that astonishing part there, or that one, and someone decent, say, from the church, or an elderly person in a position of power, or a person in your family you're supposed to look up to for advice in troubled times, times like these, Eileen, times like the ones the senator has talked about, the speeches you have written for, or the restricted legislation that Bruce did. Well, you get a load of wacko Bruce there. Wow. What a sicky. What a sex fiend. Look at those eyes, Eileen. Bruce, are you drooling? Bruce is drooling, Eileen. Look at the drool on his sleeve. God, I hope it's drool. Oh, God. But Dot and me, 
we know, because we have to work for our daily bread, not like you, Eileen, because Dot and me know you're faking it when you write those speeches for the senator. Yes, Eileen, your heart's not in it, Eileen. Face it, you're an imitation. Back it, Bruce, just go play. Because I bet you know what that is, and that, and that you've done that with this, and that, I just bet because I know all you rich kids have access to good drugs and stuff. <laughs> and do all the things that are in these seven photos. Yes, Eileen. I am not an idiot, Eileen, because all rich kids know what that is. And that thing, that, that thing there, which is supposed to be uh, over there, on, on that one, is the source of indescribable joy. If it has been over there like that in a sick and twisted way, even if that rich kid joy is loathsome and morally reprehensible and an American, and so forth and so on. And uh, I bet these uh, people here, these sick and depraved people in these photos are friends of yours. Hmm? From Dartmouth College, where you claim you worked on the Dartmouth Review, where you claim you did patriotic activities like pulling down the shanties of the colored people and the Indians and the liberals, while all the time, Eileen, you were up to no good doing stuff like this. <laughs> and this, <laughs> and even this one here, wow, oh, this one sure got to me, <laughs> wow. What kind of uh, film would you say it is, this here, fast or slow? <laughs> I'm a bit of an amateur photographer myself. Uh, mm. uh, what is that there, uh, would you say? What is what? Uh, that there. That? Yes, that. Well, I don't know. Let me look.
Uh, sent us seven photos of this blowjob type behavior. And, uh, we're deeply concerned. Still say that's the Pope. <laughs> it does look like the Pope. With no clothes. <laughs> I need my reading glasses. Where in hell are my reading glasses? Huh? I always need my reading glasses by the ant farm. Whose idea was it? By God, who the hell moved the ant farm? I can't do no reading without the ant farm. I mean, the reading glasses. I make a point of leaving next to her on top of the goddamn ant farm. There they are, sir, in the ant farm. With ants all over them. <laughs> Boy, do they ever swarm when they swarm. Cripes. Go clean these off. <laughs> Who sent these photos, Bruce? I, uh, <clears throat> we don't know, sir. Oh, you did not bother to ascertain, Bruce, who sent them. You did not do this, Bruce. I cannot believe it. Doc, <clears throat> who sent them? Uh, now, well, let's see. It must be here somewhere in the waste paper basket. Oh, what a bunch! What a royal bunch! Oh, I think I'm a senator so and so. The guy from down the hall. Oh. See, Senator Lucy, that thing there. <laughs> that one too. Oh, Neoma. That is a blowjob. Wow. No, Senator, that's not the blowjob. That is a bulk squaw dog that is chained to the banister. You can see it's a split level den of iniquity. Now, this den of iniquity. But the blowjob is over here by the um, potted plant. Now, this blowjob is a mild case compared with this one here. This one, dead to dot. Isn't this the one that dead you, Dot? Bag it, Bruce. I believe what a thing to say. I've seen worse than that. Back in Oil City, Pennsylvania. What got to me was that fuzzy area. Believe me, Senator, this one, dead to dot. She was at cold. And Bruce here, sick Brucey, while he got old. You know, wiggly. And this after saying how we women get wiggly when we see stuff like this and this and that. Just look at Bruce and tell me who the wiggly one is. Bruce there is ruling again. See, that kind of abject ruling is as close to the state of being incurably wiggly as one can get. And then there's this one, sir. And this one, and that, and, and that, and this, and, and then this really scary one here. Oh, me, oh my. But for my money, this one is the worst. See here, because we had a discussion, Dot, me, and Bruce, too. This was before he got all wiggly when his drooling was under control, or at least he was better capable of controlling it. Oh my God, will you get a load of that? <laughs> is that that? Yes, Senator, that is that. And what's worse, Dot and I surmise that this thing here is normally the thing that is inside here, but pardon my French, it got stretched way out to here by their um, exertion. exertions. Now, I certainly wouldn't know, but I do know that that there is not supposed to go all the way over there. It is against the law of nature for a human thing to be distended like that or flared out and in full view and that look on her face. Well, that is not a look on her face. That is a look on his face. <laughs> Nice facts, I think. Bad bitch, Bruce. 
It's only a picture. Doc, that, that is a picture of an unnatural act. <laughs> that is an act we knew about when I was growing up, back in Mad Wolf, but we did not have a name for it. Dot is the secretary. I am the administrative assistant. Why must I get first of last water? Really, really bothers me. Really, 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 really. Dot and Eileen would not be familiar with the kind of act of that sort. I did not know the name of that act myself, although I knew it occurred to people who were not right in the heads. But the name of it I did not want to know, because the name of it was forbidden, it was un-American, and leads to saggy eyelids. <laughs> and if you say to an act like that, calm down, boy, you are not acting right. What? It will sneer at you and say, Go to heaven, mind your own business, because I'm having a fight on time! Thank you! That's exactly what I said, sir. That's exactly what she I said. She said no such thing, sir. Dot is such an arrogant exaggerator. Don't take your word serious, sir. She was, she was, she was. Bag it, Dot! <laughs> cool down, Eileen. Get him out of here. <laughs> All I know is a monster case of blowjob like that means one of two things, smear or surveillance. We've got to find out which. Doc. Yes, sir. Call the reverend and uh, find me the file we have on uh, Senator uh, so-and-so, our surveillance on his surveillance. Yes, sir. Ali, help Bruce clean out his desk. Yes, sir. I'm fired? Yes! Bruce, fire! But why? But why? But, sir, uh, Senator so-and-so died day before yesterday. You sent flowers to the widow, sir? Flowers to the widow? Oh, indeed I did. But, sir, why? Get it, Bruce. Get that tree bird out of here, I mean. <laughs> Blowjob like that has got to be the tip of the iceberg. Smear or surveillance. Oh, good Lord, would you get a load of that? <laughs> Don is the secretary. I am the administrative assistant. Why must I help Bruce clean out his desk? It really, really bothers me. Really, 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 really. But why, sir? Because you are not right in the head, Bruce. It looks like a Pekingese to me. You're looking at the wrong part, Tom. Huh? That's the part with the incriminating. 
communicating uh, thing on its what's it? The thing uh, out there, wiggly. That part. There. cannot be that. That really cannot be that. Way over there? That's the name Christmas tree. I mean that device describing it being way over there. Wow. How the name of Salt Peter could get all stretched out like that? I mean, I've seen some things, and you'd be amazed what you see in the God business, because it sure as hell is a business, therefore I'd be run as one, but so in the precious purity of the Christian soul, even in its infrequent state of being saved, this human soul is attached to a human body by a thing. By a thing like that there, and there's the rub. And that rub is where the trouble starts, because if you rub a thing, a thing like that there, up jumps the devil. <laughs> and the devil is a creature of protection and rub Body is there too. It don't matter what you do about it. You are in a fallen state. Look upon him, see like that one there. Or that one. Wow. <laughs> that one is the one that did in Bruce. That one and the way that thing there is. You see the face between the other parts, the leer there on that face. That did in Bruce. Bruce started to drool at that. That did not have that effect on me, though I am no prissy type of person, but now this other one. I bet you didn't see this one here, did you? This one did something not right to me in my head part, so I refused to look at it, except for a little peek every now and then, and then just to see, it, see if it's still there, and if it still has that powerful effect on me so that my knees knock and my head swims, and I dare not think what else is going on elsewhere, so nowhere where it should not be. Ali, you are a fiction of what a soul ought to do to be saved. Not to look at the devil's work is the mark the good Lord leaves on the water, Ali. The mark the good Lord leaves on the water of life, Ali, you will be safe. I believe you will. Because you can resist the cloven hook on the forehead of your womb, womb, womanliness. As for that Bruce fuck, <laughs> dumb fuck was no damn fucking good at all. As for that Bruce fuck, the dumb fuck was no damn fucking good. Nobody who ever didn't go to no goddamn fucking Bob Jones University was ever worth an ounce of weasel shit in a good lord's silver spoon. Um, he had a pronounced Sado-momo statistical drive. <laughs> and the leanings of this drive could be observed in the men's room where he would look at your pecker if you were not careful. <laughs> That's right. Look right at your pecker. <laughs> Everybody who ever went to Bob Jones University is a fairy. Can you ask how I know? <laughs> I know. He played tennis. <laughs> Are people who play tennis facts. You're typical Claude Jones type, university type, <laughs> fact, and that's the fucking truth! That's what I call, I don't talk. 
Now that kind of talk I like because that kind of talk is according to realm when it comes to networking, ain't it so? Well, she's the modest type, but it's true, so. state of his uh, state, Glacial Park. Two days ago, he died. Fell on the floor. Bam. Dead. It was a monster apoplexy. That is what it was I heard. An apoplexy was not Eileen. That's what it was that you heard, Senator. At least that's what Doc says. So, the question is, was it a case of these photos being an instance of him uh, directing an act of smear at us? Uh, me, my person, or is it an act of his surveillance on the lookout for something he thought I ought to know before he up and uh, kicked off like that, bam, on the floor, dead. <laughs> so it's mere surveillance the way I see it, but which? It's obviously the way we all see it here, sir. Tom, it's an attack on public morality, and that means you. something we have to go public with. We have to go public with it then. But this, um, Senator Dick, wasn't he one of us, Bob? I used to get a check from him. I used to pray with him at the Holiday Inn at Beltsville, a good Christian gentleman. His wife, Maybell, a fine Christian lady. A little hard of hearing, not a looker. <laughs> not a looker is mild, Tom. She's got a face like a Poland China hog. But <laughs> <laughs> no! Senator Dick was a fag, Tom! No, not Dick! Senator Dick, so and so, fag. Uh. True, Reverend Tom. Indeed, the works of the devil exceed the number of digits in the mind of an IBM superfast computer. <laughs> Praise be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Leastways, that's what I suspect. Uh, he was another pecker watcher. He was a confirmed pecker watcher. <laughs> But our surveillance tells us his surveillance was busy not watching us, but was busy with watching Bob Jr. Bob Jr. Who's Bob Jr.? Oh, Tom, you know Bob you Jr. You must know Bob Jr. And my son, Bob. Can't recall a do. that thought. I was not thinking that thought. What was that? <laughs> you folks leave a poor man of God to guess what color the inside of a polecat's asshole is. Beg your pardon, Reverend. Uh, I just didn't think. Eileen, <laughs> <laughs> call Bob Jr. Now, sir, it's 10 o'clock. Call him, tell him to get his butt here promptly. Okay.
Like hell, it don't mean moose dick. He cheats at poker and is a dive in the wool, pecker, looker, adder. <laughs> Take it from me, Senator Dick. But the Reverend has a point. Senator, why would Senator Dick want to smear you? It's not a reasonable supposition. You were close friends. Well, that's where Bob Jr. comes in, I'm afraid. Hi, Bob Jr. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm Eileen, remember? From the hog roast. Oh, yeah, hi. Hi, Dad. Oh! <laughs> Bob Jr., this is Tom. Tom, Bob Jr. Hey there, Bob Jr. Don't just stand there like a moron jack off! Tom here is deacon of the television church of the Pachistical Wonder of Jesus Christ out of Dada. <laughs> I ain't that time a real TV church. Something like that, yes. Sit down, Bob Jr. Bob, 
That there, the thing in question, the Tansy Bennett part over here, the part you, Eileen, the bar every time. That's the part that death dot. Right, Bob Jr. That part only looks that way because it is not what it looks like. Goodbye, Dad. What are you driving at, Tom? That thing there is not a blow job, it's a quart sword. Well, hot damn, you may be right. But that does too look like Bob Bob Jr., don't it? Looks a little like Bob Bob Jr., but also looks a little like the Pope. He's like Dad, too. Shut up, Bob Bob Jr. Here's 50 bucks. Go buy a pair of shoes. Go and buy a pair of normal American wingtip shoes and then go and throw those bag of shoes away, Bob Bob Jr. Thanks, Dad. Wait a minute! Who is this guy? I am Senator Bob's son, not this fraud! Don't get all hot into the collar, son. Bob. Bob Bob. It'd take too long to explain. <laughs> An idea of surveillance, Bob, Bob, Bob. Goodbye, Bob, Bob Jr. Goodbye, Ali. Goodbye, Bob, Bob Jr. Goodbye, Reverend Tom. Goodbye, Bob, Bob Jr. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Goodbye, Bob, Bob. Goodbye, Bob. Uh, goodbye, Bob, 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 uh, Dad. does look kind of like the Pope. It could be the Pope. He's still a Christian gentleman, even if he is full-blown Antichrist. <laughs> well, I think we can lay to rest the idea of the thing being a smear. If it is not Bob Jr., it is not a smear. It looks like the Pope with no clothes. But is it his surveillance or ours? That's Senator Dick's surveillance to me. Maybe this is a matter of a sort that his surveillance wanted to let our surveillance know about. What's that supposed to mean? Eileen, please, talk, I believe. That kind of talk is not what I expect out of you. That kind of talk is Bob Jones. University kind of talk. That kind of talk sucks on Diddy! Not only does it suck on Diddy, it can smell fire like that bad Bruce you recall, Bruce. I recall the case of Bruce, sir. You recall that it was I, sir, who first called Bruce to bag it. Sir. Come down here, buddy. Let's not get excited. Indeed, not only should we all not get excited, but Perhaps we should all get down on all fours and pray to the Lord for illumination from this case of sadobotomy. Yes. 
us all excited, but perhaps we should stay down in all fours and pray to the good Lord of stone and rubble, the Lord God of Gooseback, the Savior of our common dimension. I need to be nailed to the death tree like him in the sun's agony against the opaque Father. Oh. <laughs> we should stay down in all fours and pray to the Lord for a revelation. are not in actual contact with the other things, and therefore the seven blowjobs are seven unconsummated blowjobs. <laughs> but they suggest less than the actual act would have done then. And had you come up to that act and said in the voice of faith, blowjobs, <laughs> you stand in the need of prayer. So get up off of your knees. Pull yourself up by your honor fence like a man too. Never be saved. That blowjob, when the child of Satan still in his or her heart would leer and say, Come, go to hell, mind your own keys, man, because I'm having a time to go. <laughs> Thus the fate of that blowjob. And the full knowledge and horror of sin. Put those of unnatural acts. Put those of unnatural acts. Capable of rendering a full grown man. Put those of Homo sede mystical. Maso sede mamma dodo. Bisto lesbo sede Christmas trouble. Erato catamino, bisto lesbo sede Christmas trouble. Maso sede mamma dodo. Bisto erato catamino, bisto lesbo sede Christmas trouble. Erato fado, bisto sede. Archaeological proto organistic hyperland super psycho dodo. Come on, up my Christmas tree! Oh, hallelujah, the whole damn parking lot of fun loving weirdo creeps. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Praise him. Oh, Lord. Dot, Dot is back. Good Lord. Whatever has come over the denizens of the hog farm. All four of you down on your knees talking about blow jobs and being happy. You're all lucky I'm not with the oppositional party. This would look like smear. Consulting the will of a parasoli dog. I was chewing the fat with the receptionist over at Dead Senator Dix. Her name's Dot Two. I'm Dot White, she's Dot Black, so we're sisters under the tablecloth of receptionist activity. Come to the point, Dot. It seems Dead Senator Dick was under a surveillance for his part in a car park deal in which his hands were not clean. Our surveillance, says the other receptionist, Dot, says the hands were definitely in the till, so to speak, at the time of the apocalyptic plectic attack which ended him. Dead Senator Dick was no dummy. He needed an object of public outrage for deflection of his own car park scam problem. These photos are art. Oh. The dot says, the other dot that is, art funded by a public agency and performed by artists in his own state. <laughs> a dot does not say how he came upon these photos, only that they were a contributory cause to his big old public of like a demise, God rest his soul. <laughs> Flowers to his widow. I mean, remind me, please. Go on, dot. Go on. Dot is the secretary, I am the administrative assistant. Why must I flowers to his widow, him being dead from a picture? It really, really bothers me. Really, 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 really. Dead Senator Dick did not approve of this art, even before it did an end, much as it did in Bruce, only words. She don't see, bag it, Eileen. <laughs> dead Senator Dick did not approve of this kind of art on the grounds of not being able to understand the moral implications touching upon its wiggly parts, the sheer touchiness of this and that, and especially the ones that Goose Bruce and Bing Eileen. One of them decked you too, Doc. It did not deck me, Eileen. <coughs> I fell off on a can of lunch out having come and gone at 
no lunch in the bread basket. Oh. So, the public funding of immoral art seemed a fine idea of getting people not to think of this car park scam. On account of there are more people in the car park scam than in the published poet and funded immoral art scam, and they all vote. So you see, it makes sense. Even the car park scam victims hate immoral art more than they hate car park scams. Or uh, so they think when they are told how to think by their moral betters. That's where you come in, Reverend Tom. You make the people think religious thoughts tending to the re-election of the saved and eternal damnation for the published poets and non-elected moral acts, acts such as these. You mean these photos of unnatural acts, photos of unnatural acts capable of rendering a full-grown man happy? That is precisely what I mean, Reverend Tom. Acts such as these, funded by the American people, are immoral. These acts are immoral, even though in these photos themselves, the things do not come in contact with the other things ever, because they are clever, these acts I mean, and so have honored the letter of the law, even though what they suggest is the worst. It is worse than the actual acts would have done did had you gone up to that act and said, well, John, you, you can uh, skip that part, Doc. Okay. We have more than covered that topic, Doc, in full. So, the fact that in these photos a thing does not touch any other thing does not matter because it is the thought that counts, so says the other God. And since the author of the act in question is few and a faggot, it means the logic is a circle square, a perfect and undestructible argument, ipso facto, carpe diem. <laughs> Only a he keeled over dead, did Senator Dick, and left you, Senator Bob, the legacy of his re-election bid. He did this having courage or favor, knowing your principal dislike of anyone a bit unusual in the American scheme of things. You too have a re-election bid to face, and your dislike of anyone a bit unusual, the poor, the queer, the colored, the women, and the others who had their shanties torn down by Eileen while at Dartmouth, is legend among many of them, and they are many. Of the unusual, I mean. These people do not like you, Senator Bob. They want your hide. If so, facto. I would say, take up the burden of dead Senator Dick's legacy and run with it. Reverend Tom can wrap it up in the American flag of God versus crypto Sado Momo and solve his own problems of hands in the till, a matter the other dot apprised me of the dear. Simply put, It'd be as easy as uh, shooting whatever it is you shoot in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Christ in a tree. She's right. Bob. She's right. Gee. Bob. Dot is the secretary. I am the administrative assistant. It really, really bothers me. Really, 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 really.
need a mind like yours to draft all my restrictive legislation. Dot, you got balls. Doesn't Dot have balls, Tom? Dot is the secretary. I am the administrative assistant. Why must Dot get to be legislative assistant? It really, really bothers me. Really, 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 really. Not only does Dot have balls, she has faith, Bob! Dot possesses the power of faith that she has to understand. A faith that surpasses all that wiggles and might be as well as photos of unnatural acts. Photos of unnatural acts capable of rendering a full grown man happily. But Dot is not a lawyer, Senator. Eileen. <laughs> it's like the good book says. Ignorance of the law is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> Here is to die. Aww. And the war against international faggotry. Yes. Woo. Now, I bet you 